Hi everyone, it's Margaret with Creative Stamping with Margaret. Today I've got a quick and easy project for you that's making these nail file holders. I was in my local TJ Maxx recently and found these Halloween themed nail files and thought, oh, those would be perfect to um, make for Halloween to hand out to a few of my friends. So brought them home and course they match beautifully with the cutest Halloween uh, bundle if you look at that cute Halloween suite in the mini catalog I believe that's on page 50 and 51 let me pull that open yes it is and of course it has the, the um, this is the cutest Halloween bundle which is the punch and the stamp set and then of course we have the cute halloween six by six designer series paper that goes with the set so that's what i'm using today uh, some of the characters in the paper match up with the punch and some of the others don't uh, but I'll, I'm using, uh, I'll be using one of the skull characters today from the designer series paper, and you'll see how easy it is to fussy cut those. So it, let's move forward with this project. As I said earlier, I'm using the cutest Halloween bundle, and I'm going to make one to coordinate with the skulls on this nail file. Now all of the projects, the products used for this project, you'll find listed on my blog. So you can refer back to that for the dimensions for scoring. I'll also have um, information on how to fold to, to get this, um, to make this little holder commonly used you'll see them called pencil holders or origami fold holders but uh, I like to use them for nail files because it's the perfect size and it holds the nail file snug in there and at holiday if you want to make a holiday themed one they fit perfect and um, they won't slide so when you put them in a stocking they uh, stay stay put so let me move those to the side, side and I'll go over some of the ma other materials we're using. I'm using the, the Skull 6x6 Designer Series Paper. I have scored this at one and a half, three and four and a half. We're also using the Scallop Circle Dies. That's what I've made the little uh, or they're layering circle dies, but I'm using the scalloped one and then a small uh, smoothed edge circle for cutting the tags. And the, the size that I'm using out of the layering circles, the scalloped is two and roughly two and a quarter, and the smooth edged is one and seven eighths. So when you go uh, to pull your layering circle dies out, those will be the sizes that you'll want to use. I'm also using, you'll just need a scrap of the Highland Heather, scrap of basic white using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then out of the cutest stamp set, I'm using, you put a smile on my face. You'll also need if you're going to use your designer series paper um, to use a, a figure out of, like this one, I use the circle just to cut the bat out of the bat uh, designer series paper piece. This one was the pumpkin. I used the punch to cut that out, but if you don't have the punch, these are very simple, easy uh items to to cut to fussy cut as you'll see because we're going to take a skull let's take one of the skulls how about since i'm using the 
smile on your face and we'll just trim around and take your paper snips and you'll see how quickly we can cut this. It takes no time at all to fussy cut these images out. Of course, if you didn't want to do that, you could also just use the circle, and as I did with the little bat here, and just cut, cut around it. But I just thought it was cute to... Um, and it's quite simple to fussy cut. And if you have a scan and cut or one of the electronic die cutting machines, these would cut great on those, using those machines. Then for the sentiment, I'm going to stamp, you put a smile on my face with the black. And then, of course, we'll take, line these, just use our layering circles dies, and we will take these to the die cutting machine and cut those. But I have already prepared to them to use on our holder, which we will fold here in just a minute. I just wanted to show you how quickly this comes together. So let's put this to the side and we'll start to fold our, I, I'm not going to adhere this yet because I want to put it on the front to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and fold and make our pencil holder. So as I said earlier, this is a six by six scored at one and a half, three and four and a half. So we are going to take our bone folder and burnish all of those score lines. And once you have those burnished, you will lay it flat on your uh, work surface. And of course you want the, the pattern that you want to be uh, on the outside of your and, um, file holder. You'll want it to be face down. So we've got that placed. Now we're gonna take the right corner and we're gonna fold the edge to that first score line, and then we're gonna burnish that. We're gonna go to the opposite corner, so our left bottom edge, we're gonna do the same, fold that so that it reaches the first score line. There again, use your bone folder to burnish it. Now we're gonna to move to the top left corner and we're gonna fold it, but we're gonna take it to that center three inch score line. Mm -hmm. Do the same, fold it over, burnish that edge. Burnish the edge with your bone folder. And then on this bottom edge, I like to just put a little adhesive because when I fold that, um, I want to make sure it stays in place. So then the next thing is to fold the right side into that middle score line. And we will, almost like wrapping a gift, you just continue to Wrap those on your fold lines, and we're wrapping this to the back. It has the two folds. And now we add our adhesive, and I'm using the Snail Plus adhesive. We fold that, 
and there we have our holder. Now, I do, do not seal the bottom edge. You could, if you wanted, put a touch of liquid adhesive in there and seal it closed, but they're tight enough that your nail file will stay in place. So see, doesn't that, see you could have it where it comes out or I always just sort of push it so that it, it's at the end. So we have our cute nail holder. Now we will place Using dimensionals, we're going to place our little sentiment on there. And I, I do use a lot of it, of the dimensionals. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I like to use a lot to ensure that whatever I'm placing is going to stay, stay put. So we'll place this. And then I'm going to also place this on a dimensional. I think skull print would look cute popped up. And we'll just see. So there we have you put a smile on my face. And then for this, I think I'm going to add a couple of these cute stars adhesive back sequins. They're also part of this suite. So when you look at the materials uh, that are available, be sure to check out these little adhesive stars. We'll put put a couple of there's some small and large ones. I think I'm going to use the just all the small ones. Had that one upside down. I left my take my pick tool at a friend's, so I've got to go retrieve that because they're perf it's perfect for using on these small embellishments because I can use the adhesive tip. So there, I think that's sufficient. So there we have our nail file holders. You saw how quickly this came together. I also want to show you two others that I have made. These um, also at TJ Maxx, I found fall themed um, nail files. So in keeping with my Halloween, I decided to do these using the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. And I stamped a squirrel and fussy cut it and put it on a large layering circle. And then I stamped the other squirrel and then just cut it using the larger circle and then, of course, layered it on a scallop. But th those are more of a fall theme that you could give out any time at fall, Thanksgiving, uh, but um, any of those times, really cute. Plus, I noticed one of these nail files has a fox on it, which... In the designer series paper that's available right now during celebration, which ends at the end of this month, so September 30th is the last day, there's a fox in that paper that, that matches our little fox on the nail, so I'll be using that. And this is the Penguin Playmates paper. So be sure to check that out. And if you place a $50 order, you could get that paper for free. Select that as one of your options. But thanks for watching the video today. You'll find all of the instructions with measurements on my blog, creativestampingwithmargaret.com. And I hope you have fun making these.